Big. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> wow. Did we do it? Are we doing yeah. it? Okay, we're doing it. Woo! Yes. Dick. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And it still <laughs> happened. But it could have been worse. It could have been. <laughs> it was pretty funny I still. i try this. Which one's that? It said Warhead something. Sour watermelon. Gotta make sure not to, not to show. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my little my little Frost buddy. So, so um. Yeah, so I sacrificed mine. Because he's the best. Oh, wait. I need to grab me a coaster. Hold up. <laughs> Just look so, at you in so much disappointment. Oh, so I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Michael Lee. And I'm still Matt. <laughs> and this is Big F and Nerds. It sure is. All right. I got me a coaster. Ready? Magic. Ready. All right. You ready to learn some shit? Yeah. All right. You holding on to your dick? No? No. All right. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to do. Do it now. <laughs> All right, uh, real quick, a couple birthdays I saw. Jean-Claude Van Damme, 1960. Oh, nice Split guy. Yeah. On the, on the trucks. The trucks, yeah. <laughs> uh, Chuck Berry, 1926. Good old Johnny Be Good, you know? Mm, oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. That's oh, all I had to like, say. I was like, <laughs> I'm not really good. I'm not that good with names. Yeah. Was, but then I was like, Johnny Be Good. You're like, oh. All right. So, 1967 was, uh, this is a quick little fact. Uh, a first, uh, 1967, first Russian unmanned spacecraft makes the first landing on the surface of Venus. Oh, okay, I said nice. first one more time than I needed to, but you get the point. But they were the first, like, in general, right? Over They were the one. first to shoot, first technically into space. They shot the Sputnik satellite. That's what kicked off the space race, which I talked about last time or yeah. the episode before. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you know that the, mm -hmm. event, the Avengers were, were real? No, they weren't. Not in the sense of the Avengers superheroes, but there was a group called the Avengers. Were they like a spec ops kind of? Uh, so what group they or were, something? they were a like a kind of like a seems like a. I don't know every detail. I only did like little quick little research in here, like a little sort of ragtag team of a bunch of like Jewish people just hunting down Nazis and shit. Oh, sh oh, so it's like the Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, in yeah, a way. yeah. Actually, kind of. Yeah. I'm sure it was probably. Well, what if it was the same? Pr practically the same. He story probably told like, differently. Probably like lightweight kind of based it on it. But uh, there was a quote. Oh yeah, a quote here where like a lot of them are asking and like they're talking about it and they're like they don't they don't feel bad. Why should they? You know. Yeah. They're true. fucking Nazis. They were killing us. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> Killed millions of us. But I guess uh, they said a lot of them refused to you know interview and talk about it. They're just like oh, I'm, just, I'm done. You know. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. They're like I don't want to talk about it. But this one guy, his name was I forgot his first name, last name. They just call him Mr. Tavor Tavor. But uh, he said, yeah, like, real quick quote. He's like, usually one of us would strangle him. He said, I, w I was not too happy to do it, but I did it. <laughs> and then someone asked him, oh, yeah, he was asked by an interviewer, uh, but you killed a person without a proper trial. How do you feel about that? Like, how can you possibly explain that? Mm -hmm. And he said, to say that I feel guilty at what I did, to, uh, to say that I feel guilty at what I did to them is wrong. On the contrary, completely opposite. I feel guilty for what we did not do to them. That's some. That's a cold motherfucker right there. He's the bear Jew. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> He's a, he was those, the one with the badges. Yeah, what's he get those for killing Jews? Bravery. Scalp him. Oh. Donnie, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Donnie, yeah. Donnie, yeah. All right. Cool. So yeah, that was a good little story, right? Yeah. Good little pick me up. Badass, badass pick me up. Well, kind of pick me up. You know, it was a, I mean, it was a downer, but it was. A, Pick I mean, me up it's, a, of the story. it's a downer because yeah. Nazis, but it's a pick me up because Nazis are getting killed. Yeah, and plus, you know, bonus points for getting killed by Jewish people. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, what do we got for today for nerdy news? I don't got a whole lot uh, other yeah, than yeah. other than Gotham Knights is coming out in like two days ish. Gotham Knights coming out two days. We the got God of War coming out soon. Yeah, November 9th. Yep. I am in there like fucking swimwear, bro. I can't even. <laughs> Fuck. I can't even. Can I even? And can you odd? <laughs> I don't want to. All right, fine. Anyways, uh, then that's all right. Pretty much. Wait, didn't you find here. out about some trailer? No, oh, I kind of. I guess where we were talking about a trailer earlier. Oh, I was saying I watched like a ten-minute developer commentary about God of War Ragnarok. Oh, right, right. So, They're just talking about. Oh, this is the story. We're working on Kratos. You know, he's. He's like, you know, growing and all that shit. Shit, we already know, really. Growing, like physically, or no, just like, growing as, as a character? As a, as a person. I gotcha. You know, now he's a dad, and he's like, you know, he's like lashing out at Atreus earlier on because he's afraid. 
mm. of him turning into him. Right. You know, like when Atreus starts becoming a little shithead after he finds out he's a god, and finally Kratos is like, <laughs> he's you. like the end all be all. Like, what's yeah. up? Then? He's like, we're gods. We're gonna fuck problem. We could do whatever we want. Right then, I was like, motherfucker, I know you're gonna do that. Fucking Loki. <laughs> yeah, fucking Loki, little fucker. <laughs> but yeah, when Kratos was like, you know, you will obey, you will honor your mother and abandon this path you've chosen. You know all that shit. Mm. And I just, I still love that line when I first heard it, where he's like, there are there are consequences to killing a god. You know, and he's like, how do you know? It's like. Uh, because he killed all of them. Yeah, he killed all of the them. The Greek ones, all of them. In the Pantheon. Except for like two. <laughs> well, I mean, we, all of them that we've seen. Yeah, he didn't kill Aphrodite, but that's like it. He definitely could have killed like, they could have had like a lot more gods in that one. I mean, yeah, like that Dionysius, all these little like minor, not you know, super minor, but you don't see him ever in the games, you know. Yeah. But all those other gods. Can you imagine <laughs> Dionysius would just be over here just drunk as fuck with just grapes all over him. Just like... Chilling. Handle them and just like minions coming out wave after wave, and they like double if they could kill him. That'd be crazy. There'd be like no boss fight because he's just sitting in his chair and you just. Yeah. Dead. Eventually, the way you kill him is you essentially just destroy the the minions and then come up on him, him. And he's like, oh, "You can't do this to us." Or blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm a god. I killed about three gods before you shithead. Yeah, for real. They were way cooler. And far I more. Started powerful. with Poseidon. Yeah. That was oh, <laughs> the original three. Yeah, he's like, I, st I started off started off light work with Poseidon. Crazy. <laughs> that was a warm-up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so other than that, um, I haven't seen a whole lot of news. Kind of just waiting at this I point. I haven't either. I've just been seeing a lot of people's like reviews on certain shows or whatever. Well, I guess news would be Overwatch 2 is the same shit. And a lot of people are kind of tired of it. But a lot of people also like it. So if you like Overwatch... Uh, like same shit, like repetitive... Yeah, I mean, it's the people are kind of like Overwatch, you know, 1.2 kind of shit. <laughs> mm. It's just the same one. I mean, kind of, sort of. Except like, what it's was like it? They basically just added an extension of the original one by saying, oh, hey. See, that's why I turned my shit off. Yes. Hold on. Is my sister asking if I want a McFlurry? Yes. Oh, that's all right. Game changer. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Yes. Yes. I got my McFlurry. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean. If you like Overwatch, it's more of the same. So, I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. If you like it, cool. But, if but you actually, people are saying it's like less because they remove characters, remove certain things. So it's like... Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of glitches or something like that. It's always something. Hey, but coding's hard, man. I I mean, I get it. Like, we're when we get disappointed... Like, I, I've been thinking about this lately. When we get disappointed about a game and we get all on developers, like, oh, what the fuck? Like, blah, blah, blah. there's this, there's that. And it's usually like glitches. It's like, that's because it's all coding and... Coding is hard as fuck. They put a zero where there should have been a one. I don't know what to tell you. And, dude, I mean, I'm sure you haven't, but you've seen, like, the coding, like, how it could look, and you have to look through every single space and character on that motherfucker and be like, what did I do wrong? Madness. That's fucking wild. Because you put, like, one too many spaces. Or, like I said, a one where a zero should have been. You're like, Literally. Oh, or if you, if you miss, like, an apostrophe somewhere. Dude, or uh, or a comma, something super Dude, tiny. The whole thing so, <sighs> it's so it's yeah. so hard. Yeah, no. So I mean, that I have sympathy for him, but yeah, for sure. I mean, like, I got talk a lot of shit, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm not making the shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you wanted me to make a game, we waiting a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so nerdy news. That's pretty much it. Unfortunately, yeah, not a big week. Not really. Knowledge. But we did get a, another episode of Andor. Yes, we did. And what did you think about this one? Uh, I liked it. They actually, we got to see the heist they were preparing for, you know, last time. By the way, spoilers for episode six. I know we've said it the past few episodes, but... Uh, So-and-so dies. There you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was like, who nobody... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so big time spoilers. If you haven't seen it, fuck out of here. John. But come back. But for now, get the fuck out of here. Watch it and come back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, that uh, that LT we saw, that black dude kept walking around. As I was yeah. watching like the last episode prior when we shot him a bit, and this admitting in this one, I was like, I bet this motherfucker's undercover. I don't. It just, oh, hit, yeah. it just hit me out of nowhere, and then it, and then like it was the reveal, and I just fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I done told you. I done told you. Yeah, that guy I mean, was cool though. I mean, he played the part. Yeah. Hot shot Until LT. he you, died. You, 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 get the fuck out of here. Did yeah. that guy die? He did. At the end. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I remember because uh, although it, his death was kind of anticlimactic, he was a supporting character. I guess, but he also he was he was a part of that group. But then again, that group kind of the group was falling apart. The group's falling apart quick. And like I noticed with uh, what earlier when they were getting in position and all that, yeah, that Vel, Vel, the leader, the blonde one, yeah, she like froze up big time. Oh yeah, huge. She's like she's like say go, and she's like, <laughs> I'm like. Say it. It's go time. And they're like, dude, what are we doing? What are we doing? Those dudes are fucking in the shit behind enemy lines, like, posted up. Yeah. What are we doing? Okay, go. And I was like, maybe she wasn't I I don't don't really understand why she was so hesitant either. Mm. Was there any kind of... Not sure. I mean, other than, like, if they did, I missed it. I mean, like, other other than her just... It may have been that last episode. Other than her just getting, you know, first aid jitters, you know? Yeah. Kind of say like, okay, now it's happening. Now it's really happening. First we were just kind of positioning. Now it's fucking go time. Mm. Could be. Yeah. And I mean, we don't know their their history, so we don't know how much of the shit she's done in the past. True. I imagine not a whole lot. But the rebellion's still getting started. It was kind of crazy though. Just all of them, just done. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? She. He's like, you mean no no happy little journey with a bunch of friends? Nope. <laughs> And uh, Vel and that other chick, I forgot her name. They seemed like they were together, right? I don't it know her name. It did, but then it also looked like a sister kind of relationship, That's why I wasn't too. sure. I was like, it could be like a super like strong bond or it could be, you know, yeah. romantic kind of feeling. But like, I remember they like, you know, put their hand and hand on top of each other. And they're saying goodbye while they have all these people fucking tied up. And like I said, I was like, that's not so much a weird moment that they did that. But it's really weird that they picked right there to do it in front of all the family you tied up to chairs and fucking gagged. And they're all. And just it's not like they were. Just... It's not like they were back by the door like where everybody else was. The people are sitting where we are, looking there, and they're right in front of them, dead center. Like, okay, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. I'll be safe. Okay. And they're all just like. <laughs> what the fuck is this bullshit? I was like, you picked a weird spot to do that. Yeah. Not weird. Not weird that you did that, but you could have gone over there. Yeah. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> just to make the family you just kidnapped watch this. Just what the fuck? I don't. <laughs> I was gonna say that that little meteor shower kind of thing that was going on. Uh, that was super cool to see. That was like weird. I know, obviously, very cool. Blah blah. Dude, it looked cool. Like the colors all were nice yeah. and cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, oh, that fight with uh with Cassian, uh, up there. Oh no! Wait. On the oh no! When they, when they were running to like the ship on the deck and Cassian was getting in that fight with that dude. Yeah. Like on the ship there, and they were fighting. I was like, this is like a Saving Private Ryan type fight. That dude up the stairs, and he's like, no, 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 no. And I was, <laughs> and I was looking. I was like, damn, it's Saving Private Ryan. Except the squirrely guy's not a little bitch. <laughs> Remember in Saving Private Ryan, oh, there's yeah, that yeah, dude yeah. creeping up the stairs, <laughs> just watch, listening to his friend upstairs get fucking stabbed. Yeah. Oh, it makes me so mad. Makes me mad that he let the dude walk past them afterwards. Yeah, and, and the fact that the, the German dude, like, stopped, looked at him, and just realized immediately this dude's not a threat. And just, just walked past him. And then later he shot that guy, but, like, good job. <laughs> too, li- too little, too late. <laughs> Fucking homie's up there dead. Yeah. Yeah, so I was saying, I was like, yeah, saving Private Ryan fight, except for the little squirrely guy. He's not a little bitch and actually fucking saved him. Yeah, the, the skinny <laughs> dude? Or... Yeah. Forgot his name. Uh... Nemec? I kind of forgot all their names. I only remember like a few like Vels. I think his name was Nemec or something like that. Might be right. Um, but yeah, it was sad about him. Yeah. Like getting crushed by the crate and then. Yeah, because Cassie just fucking taken off and that thing's. I was like, ooh, he's not going to be the same. <laughs> he's like, I can't feel my legs. I was like, oh, he's paralyzed. That sucks. And then, and then he started dying. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> that was my very next note. It happened like right after my very next note was like, oh, look, he ain't a little bitch. I was like, and he's fucking paralyzed. And he's fucking dead. <laughs> and now he's dead. Fuck. Yeah. He didn't, did he actually die at the end? I thought he looked like they got nope. him. They covered him. Oh, they covered right. him fully. You're right. They did. I do remember seeing that because I was like, he made it, and I was like, he didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Dude had a rough go. And Cassian. Before that, fucking. Oh, with Skier. Skier. Yeah. As as Skier's talking to him, I'm like, I knew that motherfucker was sketchy. I fucking knew it. Oh yeah, I he's in it for himself. He, yeah. I'm a rebel. But you know, I was like, on my own. I was thinking, I was like, damn, dude, quick gun casting shot the fuck out of him. He did. He, cold blood. Another cold blood wow. cold blooded kill by him. Yeah. And I mean, like the other first guy knew it was coming. Scare had no fucking idea. Yeah. 
He just fast his hands in the west. Because you could see like Cassian. They they Cassian they, or Han Solo. They show who would win. Who would win in a quick draw? Yeah. <laughs> That's a fight. That's a good question. <laughs> We're gonna need that answered, ASAP Rocky. <laughs> I mean, I actually think about I'm it. I'm thinking about it because, like, obviously, I want to say Han Solo because that's my boy. You know, he's been there the whole time. Cassian's quick as fuck, though. Yeah, like you said, Skier didn't even fucking realize. Dude, I mean, Skier was just dead before he even yeah, like, hit Skier's the wall. Him, he's like, yeah, so we'll go do this, and they zoom in on Pan Cassian's face a bit, and he's fucking kind of mad, and he just pow, fucking blast him mid sentence. Yeah, and then we'll just <laughs> <laughs> dead. But I was like, good, fuck him. Yeah. I, I knew that motherfucker was up to something. Yeah, I knew him. Oops. Oh, yeah. I said sad that kid died. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt realizes that he actually wrote the note down. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, did he die? Sad he did. Because I was like, did he die? Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I was like, who the fuck's that guy at the very end for Luthen? The guy recruited Cassian? I think he was just the character was that, like, that was supposed to expose the news of the attack. Yeah, because he shook Luthen up. That dude's like, I'll go check in the back. And like ran back and he's like. Whoa. I don't know. No, because he, he started laughing. Yeah, but he, he could tell he was shook up. He, he was like, oh, check in the back. And he's hella stressing out. And he's laughing. That was like a stress laugh. I don't know. I, I read it differently. I felt like he was like, oh, it's begun. Because could that's like the first, one of the first major um, attacks by the rebels. Mm. He could be right. Like, it was supposed to be like starting stuff. That's what, I, right. that's what I read off of that, that thing. I seemed it as like a, a snag in his plan. And he kind of started freaking out a little bit. Was it, was it? I thought his plan was the help the rebels and shit. Yeah, that was, but I'm not sure. Like, I mean, like the mission was successful, mostly. <laughs> I mean, mm, at a great cost. Successful. At a great cost, but you know, you know, objective complete. But, yeah. Except they lost like a whole roll of those credits. Just <laughs> fell over the place. It's like pick them oh. up. <laughs> it's hot in here today. Yeah, it's warmer. A little for sweat. sure. We got like warm next few days, and then it's gonna start going in. Good. No Good. shit. I'm ready. I don't think I had any more notes about it. I don't think I had any more either. That was it, really. The fucking heist finally happened. Yeah. They got the shit. They got out. Lost damn near everybody. <laughs> that Actually, I would dare to say just everybody. Did Vel die, the blonde one? No, I would just say everybody. Because, yeah. yeah. But I'm like, damn, that's, um, that makes sense, you know? <laughs> Your next crew's going to die too, Cassian. <laughs> <laughs> and you. And you. Spoiler alert, you too. <laughs> <laughs> he's cool, though. I, I like uh, I like Diego Luna. I like Cassian. Mm, yeah. Like I said, he's a bit of a bullshitter, but he's got to be. But I like I like, I like yeah, him. He's a... Like when he's getting like mad and yelling. Pirate. Shit, that dude, that dude's so, fucking... That dude's a little scary. I think we like him because he's like a pirate. He does what he wants, basically. Yeah, probably. For the money of it, for hiding or whatever. But, uh... All right. Cool. But that was good. So... We'll see what happens next. This week, we decided to get a little bit more of our video game on with the horror. And spoopy. Yeah. Video game spoopy. So, scary video games. We're going to be just naming off some and reminiscing about certain video games that scared the shit out of us. I wrote some older ones. Some older ones, too? That definitely like Way back me. in the day, like original Dooms or some shit like that? Well, yeah. Because, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll, start, I'll start off with one Go that's ahead. like, this was scary to me at the time because I was only like what ten so years weird. old, but it was Gears of War. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember you were saying that. That one freaked me out quite a bit because I was just like, "Oh uh, hell no!" That's understandable. I remember fighting, oof, excuse me, fighting like, the uh, what was the uh, the wretches? That, no, the the big thing that's charging through walls at you. Oh yeah, that, that one thing too. stressed me out. Yeah, a lot. Like as a kid, I'm like, no. no and I'm like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do? You <laughs> keep fucking killing me. I don't know. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, that was just like a little scare, but that's because I was obviously ten. So that one is a uh, deeply ingrained in my brain. I feel, dude. For one of my, uh, for one of my older ones when I was a kid, I remember uh, Doom Three specifically. Mm -hmm. That was the one they went more horror, not just kind of you know fucking. Go brr, 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 yeah. brr, 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 killing everything. Connection. Like fuck all you. But Doom Three, they went a little more realistic. A little more horror it scared the fuck out of me when I was younger. More jump scares and shit. Yeah, right now, I don't know how I'd feel. But, you know, I'd probably be like, whatever, and just keep playing. You would think, but I don't know. I've I've played replayed some games, like horror games, and I was like, nope. Yeah, I still can't do this. Nope. <laughs> Back then, man. I'm, I'm trying to remember if I ever finished that game. I know I definitely got to hell, you know, the last level. 
Mm, yeah. But I don't think I ever finished it. I was young enough, so it got like super duper hard in hell. I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I don't, I know I didn't finish that game actually. Yeah. I finished Doom Eternal though. That was good. The last one. Oh, the, the latest one. Came yeah, out in the beginning of the lockdown. That, that one on, they're coming out with another one too, too, right? Uh, we don't have anything specific, but like, yeah. But it's, it's in the safe, works. It's a safe bet. Cool. I don't think they've said anything official, but yeah. Nice the only you. bummer would be they lost the guy who made the soundtrack for the last one, Mick, Mick Gordon. As in he... He did the whole soundtrack for Doom Eternal. You but know, it the... lost him how? I think he, he left. No, he didn't. Oh, he okay. didn't pass away. He I left. Say, we don't no. need any downers right now, man. No, <laughs> no. He just left. But so next Doom probably still have, you know, I imagine we have decent music, but he killed it with soundtracks for yeah. this one and 2016. They got Matt over here just. That that one, the only thing they fear is you that, you know, you hear that bass. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, another older game that I just remembered was uh, Left 4 Dead. Ooh. With the witch, mm. dude, that shit was terrifying. You just like open a door with, oh no! <laughs> and what's fucked up is like, or like you'll be um, hearing the crying and just walking around like, fuck, mm -hmm. fuck. Turn a corner, all of a sudden she's just sitting there like right on the. Oh. The worst is like when you can't sneak around, or she's just like in the stairwell where you need to go, and you're like, and you're like, fuck, I have to fight. Like I can't, I can't not. I can't just run by her. She'll chase me. Yeah. And then just, pow, dead. So that one, that one with the, I mean, all the other, like, special ones, too. The, was it Smoker? The smoker. The, what was the was Prowler? The, no. Uh, the Hunter? Yeah, Hunter. The ones who, the one that jumps. Pounced from, on like, you? Yeah. Yeah. Then Hunters. There was the, the bloater, of course, whatever. The one that explodes and mm. bile the all tank. over you, and it, and it draws in a horde. Yeah. And, and the, the tank. The tank. Oh, my God. It was a Hulk zombie. Dude, I remember playing that game like the first time when we were in a tiny, it was like the first mission, I think, tiny little apartment hallway. Yeah. And he just like, he was like, had a teammate in the corner, just, like, just in the corner. Just beating the ever living <laughs> shit out of him. And I like ran up behind him and was like, get off of him, you and just And just butt stroked him in the back. and was like, get off my friend. <laughs> and he turned around and was like, <laughs> just flew to the hallway. <laughs> turned back around. <laughs> <laughs> shit out of fun. It's like, damn, that dude is <laughs> fuck off, pest. That did not stand a chance. <laughs> just... Yeah, so that, that was a, that was a good, I mean, yeah, you had the funny moments like that. Ultimately, <laughs> I think I was young playing that one too, so that one scared the shit out of me. Oh yeah, no, you get overwhelmed. You're like, what the fuck? Especially yeah. like when you go down in the sewers, like the Mercy Hospital one. Oh yeah, not a fan of that. Nope. Mm -mm. Back, uh, Back for Blood was kind of. Nice too, like a nice little reminiscing. We, we never finished that because fuck, we got on that mission and we were like the last. So I think hard. it was. I want to. I want to say it was the last mission. I think it was. And fuck, we just zombie after zombie. The fucking the ogres. gigantic gigantor zombies. Yeah. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> and like every teammate we had was just like, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> Am I supposed to shoot stuff? Yes. <laughs> Everything. And we tried doing it by ourselves. Too, and I think we got further doing that, but still, it still was pretty not tough. Enough. Still tough. Let's see what else I got. Oh, um, from like what, some of the first games on the 360. Do you remember the Condemned Criminal Origins? Mm, no. I think I might have. You might have seen I don't me think play so, it a bit because but... I didn't have a 360 at the time, so I know I didn't play it. Mm. And I'm not sure. Remind me of what was what was the gameplay you like? You were so you were you're a forensic detective. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> no, I don't remember that shit. Garbage, <laughs> garbage. <Gabbage>. Next, <laughs> next, next. Uh. Now you're a you're a forensic detective. Um, you're chasing a uh, serial killer that kills serial killers using their own methods. SKX serial killer X. Heavy rain. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> that guy didn't kill serial killers. He was just a piece of shit. Or a gummy killer. Yep. The twist. <laughs> the twist but but uh with um with condemned yeah you're you, you get framed by that serial killer for killing two cops he takes your gun wham 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 fucking waxes them as they come in the door yeets you out a fucking window <laughs> jesus and you're not like a fucking hard-boiled like fucking like tom Selleck cop you know yeah you're like in the first game like you look like a little chubby you're like like dude i'm a friend detective i don't know i just got black light 
I just got a black light. But yeah, you're like doing little, like solving little things, and you're on the run trying to solve clear name kind of shit. Yeah. It's a scary fucking game. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I remember that one. Interesting. Super fucking scary. And it was scary just because, like, uh, like human experience is kind of scary, or yeah, that there was like a little bit, like they dipped into like paranormal a little bit, mm, okay. not hella, but like because most of the enemies you're fighting are just uh, like hell, hell, uh. hell. Uh. <laughs> most of the guys you're fighting are mostly just like seem like super cracked out types, mm. like they're like people, gotcha, but they're gotcha. fucked up. You know, they look kind of like the splicers. I call them from Bi- Bioshock. Remember those people? Yeah, yeah, kind of like that. But like, I remember there's like one level. Uh, you go to a department store. And it closed down during Christmas time. So all the decorations are up. It's dark as fuck. There's all these mannequins wearing Santa hats, a bunch of bullshit. What the fuck? And eventually, I, I remember, like, later on, I could tell when I had played the game enough. Mm. But my first playthrough, I, like, I walked and I'm like, there's nobody in here. You don't have a lot of guns. You can get a gun, but you'll check the clip. Two bullets. Fuck. <laughs> and then when you're done, you flip it around. Just <laughs> and then the gun breaks. The and everyone. Like, then you just rip a pipe out of the wall. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember that game. Yeah, I was I was walking through this department store. I turned, I was like, all right, nobody's here. There's like some like mannequins like posted up. Eh, Santa hats, you know. And I'm like, all right. I keep walking and then all of a sudden <laughs> right in the back. What the fuck? I turn around, there's like a Santa dude like he's <laughs> fucking hitting me. So those crazy cragged out dudes are sitting there posting as mannequins. Yeah. So like later on when I played the game, I'd look at and go, That's one. Bam, go whack him. <laughs> but initially I was like Fuck, I what am I gonna do? I just started walking up to all the mannequins. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm. <laughs> that game was scary. Second one, pretty good. First one was scarier though. Oh, they had a second one too. In the second one they like changed the, the the character model. I told you he was like a little chubby kinda yeah. kinda looking dude. In the second one, he's like super white dude. He didn't look like he was white in the first one. He might have been, it's hard to tell. Hmm. You never see his face too much, first person. But the second uh, one, yeah. he's like full on white dude, long hair, he looks fucking homeless. Stacked. He's big. And he's just fucking it's like crushing pain pills. Different dude bar. or same dude? Same guy. Ethan, whatever his name was. And he he's like shredded. He's like crushing pain pills at the bar with his glass down in him, fucking taking a shot. What the fuck? Because he cleared his name, but now he's all fucked up from the shit he saw. Yeah, so. It's just crazy. Another game I was thinking about was, uh, <clears throat> uh, freaking what was it? Uh, oh, God, I just had it. Fuck. Sorry. What was it about? You're basically like. I remember the gameplay was like you're stuck in a you're stuck in a house and you have to like try to escape, but some thing or someone was like chasing you the whole in the whole house and you have to like be quiet. I fucking forget the name of the game, but this game was hella terrifying. Was it like in an old timey house? Like kind of like, like old big, house, big, like maybe like ranch style almost. So like a house, not like a big castle kind of type. Thing? No, 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 not that big. You're literally in a small farmhouse, and you're hiding from this dude, and there's like boarded up doors and shit hmm. and windows how old is it it's not that old that's the why i'm like i'm oh no i'm drawing blank. it's not like uh the, the hello neighbor or whatever the fuck ones no i never played those Heard either those way if anyone can name that game damn that one's scary as fuck and you know exactly what i'm talking about and like i think you could hide under the basement as well or some shit like that and what's the objective to escape to try to escape you have to like go around the house and find find thing find things to escape but you can't make you can't make noise because then you'll hear the thing just doo, 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 down the hallway. Huh. Fucking forget. I wish I could remember. Sounds like sounds like from like uh sounds like Mr. X from the Resident Evil Two remake too. Mm, yeah. You make a noise and you hear doom 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 down the hall. Like, Dude, that's oh. terrifying when games do that shit. When games do the uh doom doom doom, and if you're wearing headphones, like <sighs> it's so like immersive and you're just like, <laughs> here you come. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Speaking of Resident Evil, I put that on there, and I put seven and eight, the last two specifically. <clears throat> were they were they considered scary? Scary though, especially especially seven, eight eight followed seven and was scary, but it was a little less scary. I think they they specifically said they made eight a little less scary than seven. Oh, seven was scary, pretty fucking scary. You're in the like the swamps and in, in uh, Louisiana, New Orleans or whatever, Louisiana. And just fucking, like, creeping through, like, this whole family. The Baker family, you know, that's the shit where you hear oh, him. Yeah, He's yeah. like, welcome to the family, son. Whack. Fuck. <laughs> and then he, like, you, like, kill him, like, one other time. <laughs> and you're like, all right. And you're escaping. It blows up in the car. And you're going to climb the ladder. And he grabs your hand with the gun. And he's like, you're about to see something wonderful. And <laughs> blows his own brains out. 
And then he comes back 10 minutes later. You open a door and he's just like walks out. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I must have missed that. <laughs> Scary game. I like what. So like I'm, one of my things is the only reason why I know some of these games stories is because like I've, I'll watch gameplay. Mainly because I, I do like some of these games like cinematics. Mm. Like Resident Evil had some pretty good cinematics too, though. So, I mean, that's one naturally I would like to watch. Also, I think they have their own anime as well. Um, they're kind of like a how Final Fantasy is, hmm. except Final Fantasy doesn't have live action movies. Yeah, Resident Evil has been doing live action stuff lately. That's just they've been tanking. They do live action video games. Uh, I was like, they did that movie of the the first game anime. They did that live action movie, the first game that came out like a year or two ago, tanked. Oh, uh, we had had the dude from Umbrella Academy, yeah, and uh, Black Sails. If anybody's seen that, he was Billy Bones. Oh, is that where you got your rattle bones? <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> no. <laughs> forgot about that. Pick a pirate name. Dot com. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Sorry, I didn't do that. Shut up. <laughs> Dead leg. <laughs> But yeah, that tanked, uh, and then they came out with a show recently on Netflix, live action. That's yeah. already canceled that for the first season. Oh, that's right. Because they keep trying to make shit. That happened like, like what four months, three yeah, months ago. It was super pretty recent. Yeah, they keep doing that shit and like not connecting this to the game, and then going like, "Well, what happened? Why don't people like it?" Because you're not. Because you're just like you're just. It's not even like Resident Evil. You're just slapping that name on there, going there you go. <laughs> you get some basic game. Overlay Resident Evil stuff and go here you are. You know you can just give a fuck about the source material. You know I mean I understand taking some creative liberties. It happens sometimes it's for the better. No, take the creative liberties, but you still have to keep the original like, shit. Give me something, not just give me like all these new characters, totally new location, and go. Oh look, it's Resident Evil. And, like according to you, I guess. Yeah. Not me. No. So yeah, I haven't bothered to watch that. What you uh, got? I'm trying to think. I mean. I mean, I've said this over and over again. I probably will continue to say it because The Last of Us scared the fuck out of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was just the, the they were just good at creating suspense in the cinematics and the actual gameplay when, especially with like the clickers. Dude, yeah, no, their, their pacing was super <clears throat> good for sure. They know when to like give you like a little bit of time. Yeah. So you let your guard down just a little bit. And you're like, all right, just going through drawers, finding shit. And then all of a sudden, and you're like, whoa, 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 shit. And now all of a sudden, it's go time. Yeah. Like, right now. <laughs> like, fuck. So that. Pacing was good. Pacing was good. I'm hoping they kind of that carries over into the show that's going to be coming out. You still got to play the second eventually. one, though. <laughs> Sorry. Not to I got to finish the first one. You haven't, I thought you finished. No, I've never oh, finished. Bro. I told you. It Hang scared on, me. Just notice you have a little, like, red string. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want it. No, you got a red string. <laughs> I was trying to help you. Next time, fuck it. <laughs> Next time, fuck it. <laughs> um, what were you what saying? It? Last of Us. Last of Us. The show should be coming out what? Did they? I think we met. No, we didn't mention it because they didn't really actually say. They just said like next year. Yeah. Next year. When? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when? Yes. Yes. I want to say it's literally like a year from now. You're probably right. So I feel like it was, what, during holidays, which would suck, but... It's a long time. It is. Cause especially because their, their ad ad campaign or whatever has been revving up a little bit for that show. Oh, have, they, have they come out with more? I mean, it, more than it was a few months back when it was like nothing, except for like some like set photos and some bullshit. Now they're like, here's a little trailer, here's a couple little trailers, you know? Um, so I'm like, come on, don't take too long. Don't take too I long. I want... <laughs> I mean, we've all said we wanted a movie out of The Last of Us because it was such a good game. It'd be good. I, I still stick by that. Uh, I, I think Pedro Pascal is doing a great job. I mean, from what I've seen, yeah. I uh, I still stick by that. Josh Brolin would have been a really good pick for Joel, too. Josh Brolin. Thanos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanos. Table. <laughs> Thanos. I think he would have been really good. He was my first pick. Shut like, it, Thanos. Zip it, Thanos. <laughs> he was my first pick, like... Uh, you know, after The Last of Us came out, I was like, if they ever, ever, ever make a movie, Josh Brolin would be a good one. Hmm. But Pedro Pascal seems great so far. I mean, like, I, I, I remember, I think I said it, I heard, like, a little voice line like, during, the <laughs> during the trailer. And I was like, oh, shit, I wonder if they pulled that straight out of the game. I'm like, no, that's Pedro. Damn, he sounds just like Joel. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Sick. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> uh, I got, ooh, Alien Isolation. 
Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> that one was fucking Did you finish scary. that one? Yeah. That one was hard for me to finish because it's so fucking stressful. That game holds a special place in my heart because when I was stationed in Japan, yeah. we were working overnight. We'd work like 12 hours. And I'm just going to say some of those hours are really dead, especially during the winter time. And we're stuck there. So we had like big old 70 inch TV PS4. Damn. And our sergeant was over here like, I'm going to bring it. Oh, I'm going to bring it. Or it wasn't the squadron's PS4. It was his. Uh -huh. But he'd bring it over and he, we'd play Sick. Alien Isolation. And once we got like too scared to play, we'd switch up and be like, okay. But then like you're, lost, you're also like super anxious because like, fuck. I don't want to play again. No, no, you can, you can, you can turn. stay on. Nope. <laughs> you got to play. Fuck. Oh yeah. We forced each other. Dude. Like, oh, I'm scared. No. That shit was good. They captured the aesthetic and everything of like alien universe. Fucking. They nailed yeah. It. From like the first movie. Kind. Yeah. Like you're in the ship. Everything's not, everything's kind of cramped, low ceilings. You're creeping through there. like old, old futuristic looking tech. You, you know? hear the clanking and banging of the pipes and shit. Oh my God. And then when you heard the, the Xeno coming through. You're just like, that, that was the worst. You're walking down a hallway and you just hear like, doom, 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 those footsteps. And you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. And you like dive under a hospital bed or something. More footsteps. <laughs> fuck, 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 no, jump under there. And then you'd be crawling, like, or like you go into one of the lockers or something. And it's like, <sighs> like just coming through and just like. He comes like right by the door and you have to like lean back and like hold your breath. And... <laughs> What's, wasn't that game like it had the a feature where like even if you made noise through the to the controller yeah. at all like if you physically made noise the game would actually pick up the audio and the alien could hear you it's yeah fucking, i'm not sure if I, awesome. i'm not sure if i told the story here or not but that happened to me no. where uh, i was i was playing it one day when i was in el paso buddy of mine buddy and his wife came over and their kid we were like having dinner or whatever and i was like bro check it out when we were playing and uh, i was like hiding in a locker just like that leaning back holding the breath like <laughs> and then right then baby it, ah in the back and the aliens like walked away and he hey, motherfucker ripped me out and I was like ah! <laughs> screaming you know that damn baby <laughs> it's like high school memories of when your bully was following you <laughs> I didn't have a bully I our lockers up. our high school lockers were like this big we yeah. fitting in there. literally only like bugs I could fit like half a leg in there if that <laughs> maybe if yeah. that maybe a foot maybe up to the knee maybe maybe down but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Alien Isolation was a good one. Mm. I really liked that one. And it's not Scared like the shit out of me. It's not like other games where you get to just fucking just mow down aliens. It's one alien. Well, to initially. <laughs> yeah, that's right, huh? And then most you could do is get a flamethrower and just go away. And he's like, ah. Except then, was it Alien uh, Fire Team? Mm. I get if I get a flamethrower. Yeah. I'm mowing everyone down. Yep. <laughs> shit. When I when you have that and I have the the smart gun and we're just fucking get up. <laughs> That's our, that's the catchphrase for the fucking game. Anytime we play that game, it's just get up. Get up. <laughs> They're all fucking on the ceilings. I don't need to aim. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that smart gun is OP yeah, as fuck. No. Well, I mean, it's not. It doesn't really do too much damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shut up. Uh, Dead space. Oh yeah, I was Dead wondering space. if you're gonna bring that one up. Gotta. You have Specifically, to. the first one. First two were good. Third. <laughs> first one. Yeah, Man, they really nailed it in the beginning when you're running when you don't have a weapon. They're like, just fucking run, Isaac, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> and the fucking necromorphs are <laughs> fucking coming out of the side. And you're like, ah, just fucking running. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> yeah. The game, <clears throat> the game. Was that wasn't that one of the first games to do like? No, never mind. I'm tripping. What? I'm hella tripping. To do what? They they had done something like they were known for something and that because of that game. Well, they did. The limb cutting thing, maybe. Like, not just like shoot him in the head. That won't kill him. Oh, uh, like after they cut the limb. Yeah, that was like, like when you get start. the first plasma cutter. There's that thing written in blood. Cut off their limbs, you know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, as opposed to like they're like you shoot him in the head. It doesn't fucking matter. I know that. <laughs> I know there was something. I wish I could remember. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna look it up though, because it's <laughs> not a big deal. Not a big deal. Fuck it. At all. We're we're gonna replay it again when it comes out anyway. Or I am. Uh, yeah, they are coming out. The with remaster. Them, huh? Or yeah, the remaster for the new new consoles. For are you getting in on which one? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's not co-op, so I guess it doesn't really matter. 
so PS5. Gotcha. Probably. Maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if it comes to Game Pass. I'm supposed to play on Game Pass. Probably won't though. Wait, did you have a, a ga- like not Game Pass? What was it on PlayStation? Those, oh, it? like their their Game Pass? Yeah, PS Plus. Yeah, I mean, no, nah, I have just the essential version still, so I just can play online and get the two free games, whatever you know, every month or whatever. Mm. Not the whole catalog. I do like the whole you can play older games. Like yeah. I was playing the original God of War. Sick. Um, and it was just funny because it was in the square format. Oh, the border, <laughs> yeah. Because, because of, yeah, just because yeah, TVs used to be rec- or square, yeah, for the most part, not rectangles, not long giant fucking stretched out rectangles, stretched out things on <laughs> hanging on the walls. Hey man, I don't know want to know what stretched out things you got hanging on the walls. Nandi, what? That's yours? Huh? <laughs> uh, what else we got? What else do I have? Is there another game? There's a computer game. Was that Five Nights at Freddy's? I don't know if you've ever seen gameplay of that. It's like uh, ana- animatronics. I played the first one on my phone. Oh, did you? Never got, never finished Night Five. It's too hard. Too hard. Too hard. Yeah. I got past every other one, but Night it, Five is like. Mm-mm. It sucks because you got to do the whole puzzle thing, and like figure out different escape routes and all yeah. that. But yeah, animatronics are actually legitimately scary. Yeah. I mean, that should terrify me when I'm like sitting there and you know. Looking on the camera and you see one jam down the hall. You're like, oh no no no! Go back and it's just where you're like, you'll see the silhouette of it. You're just like, <laughs> and like, and then you like go back into your dude and look over and it's just bang in the door. Ah, shut the door. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that, the shit out of me. <laughs> that one was pretty scary and it actually made me realize that I do I do somewhat have have a fear of like animatronics. Definitely Certain uh, animatronics like old Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. New fear unlocked. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Grab you that, and just stuff you in an animatronic thing. That's their, that's their whole thing in Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Yeah. They think you're without your shell, basically. So, like, here, we'll just jam you into this animatronic, which is just a bunch of crossbars. Just get in there. <laughs> it's fucking yeah, so that, that one's pretty fr- uh, fucking nephew, terrifying. My nephew loves that shit. Wait, what? My, my nephew loves that shit. Five Nights at Freddy's. Who's he watching? I was like, who's he watching playing Five Nights? Oh, I wait, never mind. Probably Rob. No, he's not playing it. Really? Who's playing it? I don't know. Rob just, he's uh, playing oh Call God. of Duty. <laughs> Ethan's doing it on his own. I don't know if he's watching gameplay or actually playing on his tablet or something, but uh, either way, he's all about Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm like, bro, that's scary. That's terrifying. <laughs> you, better, you better watch out for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's fucking just <laughs> in the door. Like, Slam the door. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> All right, I think we got time for one more. One more. Let's see what I got. Um, I haven't finished it yet, but uh, the Observer. I think I mentioned it once or twice before. Maybe episode last or last or two. Observer. It's a cyberpunk kind of horror where I told you you're in the apartment. I told you about the little girl, and you find that lady all hooked into the chair and shit. I think so. Yeah, you're, you're in that yeah, yeah. one apartment building. It's fucking scary. Is that on, uh, that's on PlayStation? Mm-hmm. Oh. They did a next-gen upgrade for it and everything. I, just playing video games sometimes, it's it's far more scarier than movies. <laughs> yeah, that one was good. I haven't finished it, but I do, uh, I will go back and finish it. I heard it's probably only like five-ish, six hours, depending how long you take. And we need to start playing Ooh. horror VR. Ooh. Jesus. I want to talk about getting scared. I will never, I'll probably never play VR again. I ain't putting that fucking mask on. Hey, you want to get out? Nope. No. I'm done. <laughs> Over it. Selling it I'm tomorrow. I'm doing ever again. Fuck that thing. Oh, real quick to talk, to bring it up since it's pretty much dead and gone now. Um, PT, the playable teaser for the Silent Hills game that oh, got canceled. Yeah. That got canceled years ago. Yeah. I remember being in El Paso out in the field one night, sitting up in our, in our, in our, uh, in our vehicle to charge my phone. And I went, <gasps> Oh no! And I yelled out the door, die! Like to my buddy, he was like, "What?" I was like, "Fucking PT is canceled." And I just hear it off in the dark, just no. Because <laughs> I remember playing PT, the little player. <sighs> so scary. Was it playable teaser sounds like a demo. It is. It is. Okay, yeah, but it was. I'm like, just making sure we're it's on, I'm on the same. So page. scary. That was the one where you were playing as Norman Reedus. Mm. Silent Hill. Silent. I remember it was the title. The title card at the end was like Silent Hill, and then S came on the end. Silent Hills. And then that got canceled. 
Guillermo del, uh, Guillermo del Toro was doing it. But then that all got canceled. And then Hideo Kojima, he was directing it too. Metal Gear Solid guy. Mm, okay. Uh, but now that got canceled. Then he went and made Death Stranding with all the same guys. Norman Reedus, uh, Guillermo del yeah. Toro, all that. But, uh, man, PT was good. Fuck. I remember it was just two hallways. It was like a little loop. You went out the second door, came back out the first door you were in. It was just an L-shaped hallway with like a, a bathroom door, little atrium with like a little chandelier. You could see up to the upstairs. Huh. Couldn't go up there, but you could just see like the railing up there. Yeah. And then you go out the second door, back in. And uh, so you're just playing in a loop. Yeah, and each time you go around, kind of something different happens, you know. Oh, it's one. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah. It's like an endless horror loop. Yeah, like finally, like because like the, the the bathroom door around the second hallway is closed for most of the time. One of the times you come through, as you turn the corner, <clears throat> cracks open. And then you go like investigate, so you like zoom in a little bit, and then the fucking lady <clears throat> shuts the door. <clears throat> it's one thing about paranormal anything, is like you can't do anything against it. Mm -mm. For the most part. And that chick, uh, the chick that would come up and... Because you could randomly get killed by... Her name was Lisa. The ghost that's following you. She's like a... Simpson. Oh, so scary. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> Just little pointy hair. Just like... The binky. <laughs> playing the saxophone. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, that's not scary. Yeah. I could do this. Keep walking. But, dude, you know, that chick, Lisa, she'd randomly kill you. She'd be like... <laughs> in your face. And I remember, like, there was a puzzle. I don't like, like that jump scares. Yeah. And, like, uh, th there's um, people kind of, I don't know if hacked the right word. They kind of broke the game a little bit. They were able to access the game camera and just turn it around. And they found out that chick Lisa, the ghost lady, she's stuck to your back, basically. She's always right behind you. Oh, ew. Yeah. So, like, because, like, you don't, because that's how, like, when you're playing the game, like, you think you'll hear, like, a little something, a little yeah. breathing, a little something. But every time you turn around, she's back here. She's just stuck behind you. you know? yeah. So people got in, took the game camera, and just turned around, and she's just fucking right behind you. She's, oh, she's so creepy. Turn the hallway the one time, and she's under the chandelier there, just sitting there, just looking at you. I feel like there's a VR version of that, like, styled <laughs> after it. Probably. A lot of games uh, took inspiration from that. I think uh, I think someone turned – actually, I think someone turned into a, one of those VR worlds – so Not like there, <laughs> uh, no way. I forget the name of the game. It's free to play on what, like VR. VR chat. Yeah. Oh yeah. VR chat. So they made a world in there of that. No fucking way. I think, or it was modeled after that kind of idea. Because I I remember these guys that we watch on YouTube <laughs> playing this game, and it's VR, and there's just like some floating thing, just and it's floating towards you, and you see the lights turning off after each like after she passes. And, they're, and they were stuck. Like, they couldn't move. And they were like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, my. I was going to say, I will be double dog damned if I ever go to the FER world. Let's play it. Absolutely not. Come on. So scary. But we. I found out there, though, there was a little puzzle. Because, like, after I went around another loop, finally nothing was happening after a while. I was like, how do you finish this? There's just an end to it. There was a crazy-ass puzzle. It was, like, super crazy. You wouldn't figure it out unless somebody had already done it. And right. Posted it. Like, you had, to get, you had to get this phone to ring three times. And then you unlock, like, the ending where you see Norman Reedus's face walking down the street. And you get the title card. But, uh, like, you, oh, you, the for the, to get the first ring, you had to walk exactly 10 steps and then stop. And then you hear a phone ring. You're in K1. And uh, second one, I forgot exactly what you had to do. But at one point, you had to talk to Lisa, like the ghost. Uh -huh. And you have to, like, in your mic, you have to get a mic and be like, Lisa, where are you? Lisa, da 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 da, -da Lisa. Li and then the phone rings again. And you start hearing, like, the fucking... Creepy ass ghost noises. You get the third ring. It's fucking weird. And there's a fucking fetus in the sink in the bathroom at one point. I think I saw that. I think I saw that clip. I like walked in the bathroom and there's like, it's alive. You see like it's little chest like beaten and it's this thing just super like it's like this big. Little uh, fucking just fetus just got ripped out, plopped in the sink. Ugh. Yeah, that's fucking disturbing. Yeah. Fuck, what the hell? To say the least. One point you come out again and, and that chandelier, there's like a, sh a fridge hanging from the fucking chandelier and you hear like weight <laughs> falling around in there and you hear a baby screaming. Somebody just like, th somebody just like threw a baby in a fridge and, just, <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> and then there's like blood out of the fridge and you're like, geez. There's a VR, there's a VR world after that one too. Oh, it's the same one then. Yeah. Just a different scene. Model, I guess. Modeled. 
Yeah, no, absolutely not. Dude. Nope. Let's play. Nope. I'm down. Nope. Let's play. No, you're fucking not. I'm down. You're like, I'm too scared to play games. And you're like, let's I go. Play, I play those games by myself. <laughs> so do I. But I don't finish them by myself. <laughs> you do. No, nah, honestly, to be fair, I, I've... Uh, scaled way back on scary games i don't i don't have it in any i don't have it in me as much as i used to <laughs> like oh. with the observer like i got like into the basement and was like and there's a big like, <laughs> dude thudding around down there and i see him like walking the hallway i'm like fuck fuck I couldn't do it man i had to take a break never came back <laughs> all right well but yeah that was a good one r.i.p to silent hills pt yeah r.i.p they did do a pretty good uh inspiration game a uh, visage which I, I played, never finished. But it's like that super, like, kind of hyper-realistic, like, you're in a house, like, it looks like a real, like, house somebody's living in. Because, you know, sometimes in a game, you're like, this is, this is a house. Yeah. You know, it looks kind of like cookie-cutter shit. But that one's like a real, like, lived-in house. So yeah. it just adds that extra layer of scary realism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, so there's some video games that gave us a little fright. A little. A little. Lots. A lot of <laughs> I quit games. Or I quit stuff because of that. I quit games. I am done. All right. So that what completes episode thirty two. Yeah, because you said thirty last, last time. Yeah. Messed up on the last one. Last one was thirty one. This is thirty two. And I think I was trying to correct you and go. I think it's twenty nine. Like a dumbass. <laughs> you were two episodes off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, episode thirty two. Nice little horror thing. Yeah. We special treat for next week is. We are going to sit, what, tell spooky stories. Some spooky stories. Going to look online, try to find some, like, you know, uh, I guess having a way to, to know they're true, but people telling them say they're true. So we'll and, try to see what we can find. And any possible, like, personal and experiences, personal which this guy has had a lot of. Yeah. And I've had a couple. I've had a couple oh, spooky yeah, ones. Matt's got a good, yeah. good bunch, too. Yeah. So. so it'll be a good one. Spooky stories. And that uh, next week will pretty much be legitimately all spooky story. Yeah. Nothing. If there's any news, we'll just fucking shoot right through it. Literally, just this is this, this is that. It's like one week. The horror. It's like one week where I'm like, don't be any news. Come on. <laughs> Got spooky stories to tell. So there's that. Yeah, follow us on uh, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are still coming out, or still trying to come out with more gameplay footage for yep. that. Working on that. We played a bit, played a bit more Sea of Thieves last night. Played a little more Sea of Thieves, and that was we got in a good old, fun. good old high seas battle last night. With yeah, skeleton ship. Skeletors. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, go ahead and hit us up. We would like to know what you guys think of the podcast so far. If you have any questions or would like to put any insights on anything, uh, do that. You can message us on Instagram, which is big F and nerds underscores in between each word and big F and nerds at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Sure would. <laughs> And uh, I believe, I believe so. I believe that was it. Matt, do you have any closing words? Let me ask somebody real quick. Hey, Tobias. Bye. Hey, Tobias. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you rang? Yeah. Yeah, I was here last week. I said this too, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, well, he's going to be a, he's going to be a regular occurrence. I told you Tobias is eternal. Okay. 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 Later, taters. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Pew, pew. Fucking hate Tobias. Everybody loves Tobias. Tobias.